Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to do a streamer frame similar to PewDiePie in DaVinci Resolve, so let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and first off we're going to need two things. The first one is going to be a clip of the head of the person that you're going to frame and then the clip of what the person is watching, a reaction, a video game or whatever the person is actually doing. So we're going to overlap those two. Obviously the timing need to match so make sure that they are synced together. And here we're just going to lift the face to the third track and leave the second track empty to bring the background that we're going to create right now. I'm going to go over to Effect Generator and here I'm I'm just going to drag a noise gradient in that second track, extend it to the length of the clip. Right now we don't see anything because the face is taking the entire frame. So we're going to start by just resizing uh, that face. I'm just going to go to zoom. I'm going to reduce the size of it. And then here uh, on crop left and crop right, we're going to make the crop left 450 and the crop right 450 as well. So now we're left with a square frame of someone playing video games. Now we're going to create the contour frame itself. So I'm going to go to the noise gradient and here we're going to switch from version 1 to version 5. Here first off I'm going to go over to gradient. I'm going to double click on gradient to just have two color in that gradient and not a bunch like it was before. I'm going to switch from radial to linear. So we have those lines instead and here I'm going to switch the white to a red so it's closer to the PewDiePie colors. Then we're gonna go to control here we're gonna double click on detail to reset to default and maybe increase it a little bit like this. Contrast we're gonna put it to the maximum. Citrate we're gonna double click on it to reset it by default. Citrate is basically the animation so now we're starting to get somewhere. I'm gonna increase the scale a little bit and then I'm gonna decrease the detail and there we go, we're going somewhere. You can just use that as a background if you want. But right now we're just gonna crop it to frame it all around our subject. So with still noise gradient selected, I'm gonna go over to settings and here on crop left, crop right, crop top and crop bottom, we're gonna change the values. So right now I'm gonna start with the left and we're gonna say maybe about 650 should be nice. So let's do 650. Same here with the crop right. It's important that you try to keep the same value on the left, right, top and bottom. Uh, so it just stay proportionate. Now for the top, we're just going to reduce it and try to match what we have on the left and the right. So for this one, that should be about 215 probably. Yeah, should be good. Same with crop bottom, 215. Here we go. And now let's play it. Cool, we got all frame. If we want to have the animation of that frame going quicker, we can go to generator and here we can adjust the seat rate. The seat rate is basically the speed of that animation. So as you can see now, it's way quicker. For now, I'm just gonna uh, leave it as default. I think it's fine like this. But if you've noticed, the PewDiePie frame is actually wiggling on the vertical and the horizontal axis. So we're gonna go over to open a fix and we're gonna add a wave effect. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna drag it on the noise gradient. And actually I'm gonna drag a second one because we want to have the waviness on the vertical and the horizontal axis. So I'm gonna go over to effect and here we're basically gonna have one on the vertical and I'm gonna click on the second one and the second one gonna be on the horizontal. Right now it's way too strong. So we're gonna turn down a bunch of settings. Here the scale, we're gonna diminish it to 10. Then the strength, we're gonna diminish it to three and the speed we're going to diminish it to 0.1. Now let's do the same thing for the vertical. So here the scale, we're going to go at 10, strength here 3, and then the speed 0.1. And now if we play it, as you can see, we get the frame wiggling a little bit. So that could be an effect that you want to achieve. Then you can play with the scale, the strength, and the speed to really get the effect that you want. Right now I'm happy with this. I'm done with my frame. So to be able to move it in a corner, everything at the same time, I'm just gonna select both uh, the background that we've created and then uh, the face of the streamer. And I'm gonna just right click on it, create a new compound clip. And now I'm gonna be able to easily reduce the size of that clip and move the position. So here we're just gonna bring that into a corner right about there. Now let's play it. Perfect, I'm happy with this. And that's how I will do a streamer frame in DaVinci Resolve if I were to do an edit of a reaction video of a gameplay or something like this. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next and see you in the next one. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. 
get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigastudio.com.